Hello, welcome to Fruitful Life Divine. My name is Sandra and today I wanted to discuss the differences between veganism and carnism. So I'm going to try to make this explanation as simple and as quick as possible. And I really wanted to clear this up because I tend to get this a lot when I tell people that I'm vegan. They're like, oh, well, you're, you're in a cult, you're in a cult, you're, you know, part of a cult. And I'm like, no, you know, veganism is not a cult. It is a belief system, just as carnism is a belief system. Veganism is um, a belief system that says I'm not going to use animals to eat them or torture them or, you know, harm them in any way. And um, carnism says, you know, I'm going to eat animals, torture them and use them however I want, you know. They're just uh, objects for us to use. They're here for us to use. And um, the problem between those, um, the two belief, system, belief systems, veganism and carnism, is that <clears throat> there are a lot a, of uh, hidden beliefs in, within those belief systems. Um, you could say they are implied beliefs, you know. And because they're not talked about, because, you know, they uh, show up as being vegan or, you know, a meat eater or believing in carnism, uh, they stay hidden. And so I wanted to really clear, you know, the air. God's really moving my heart to bring this out into the open and really get some dialogue going about this because um, like I said ve veganism is not a cult um, carnism is not a cult they are belief systems and so between these two uh, belief systems it is implied you know that you are going to either eat meat or not eat meat for some particular reasons and within those reasons there are you know other beliefs in between but inside the vegan belief system I would say would be rooted in nonviolence and peace because you are not causing uh, the death of an animal you're not causing any you know bloodshed of uh, another being um, carnism has a, a root of violence, right? Because violence is required in order to get meat um, onto a plate. So you have to think about, okay, what does it take for me to get this food onto my plate? And another aspect of it is that because you are paying for it, you're paying for your food, you are agreeing with the process, everything that it takes, you know, uh, to get the food onto your plate. You're, you're paying for it, you're agreeing to it, and you're eating it, you're taking it in, into your body, right? So what does it take to get meat onto a plate? And what does it take to get fruits and vegetables onto a plate? You know, you have to think about these things because by um, buying your food, you're agreeing to those procedures. You're agreeing with those ideas, with those concepts, with those actions. You're agreeing to them, right? So vegan... The vegan belief system is rooted in nonviolence and peace. It's rooted in mercy. It's rooted in life, prosperity, love, family, togetherness, kindness, gentleness. Because you're not harming animals, you know, you're not harming people in uh, getting this food onto your plate, right? While on the other hand, in order to get meat onto a plate, 
um, it's a completely opposite belief system from veganism, right? So in order for you to get meat onto a plate, you're agreeing with violence, you're agreeing with destruction, death, torture, mutilation, um, sedation, raping, killing, enslavement, imprisonment, neglect, abandonment, and family separation, um, even medicating these animals. You know, you're agreeing with all these um, actions that it takes um, to get the meat onto your plate. And so by agreeing with these beliefs, you are perpetrating them out into, into the world, right? You're paying, you're paying to perpetrate these beliefs and out into the world. And we are creating more and more of it by paying into it. So if you wonder why all these things still exist in the world, if you're wondering why violence still exists, destruction, death, torture, mutilation, medication, sedation, raping, killing, enslavement, imprisonment, neglect, abandonment, and family separation, why it still exists in the world, it is because by our food choices, we are paying for it, we are eating it, we are perpetrating it. And so when we start to look at food as an act of, of uh, you know, what, of sowing into the type of world that you want to see in, manifested here on this planet, you start to make different choices. And I, I certainly hope that we can open our spiritual eyes and um, be able to see that and make different choices so that we can have a healthier planet and healthier people, healthier population, you know, healthier animals and ecosystem for a better world. So I thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that I have been very clear about um, what I am explaining and if you have any questions please um, comment down below. I hope you have a beautiful wonderful rest of your day and many fruitful blessings. Bye! Thank you!